Okay, so I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sarah Kohler. I'm from Trillium Software. We uh, offer a data quality solution for Microsoft Dynamics CRM uh, customers. It is delivered through a plugin which works natively within the platform. Um, we also have tools and approaches that allow clients to really look at their data and address the quality issues that may pre exist as part of a migration into the Dynamics CRM environment. Excellent. A lot of times clients don't have the luxury of thinking about that at the point of implementation. Um, so we, off we also offer functionality that allows for some cleanse in place to occur. We also recommend that they do that as part of an ongoing database maintenance concept. Excellent. Um, so one of the issues often run uh, across with my customers is that uh, customers stop using the system because the quality of data is not like it was on day one. Someone's entered the phone number incorrectly, uh, you know, people um, put even a company name in many different forms and those organizations kind of want to standardize so all data is going in the correct format. Is that kind of what your technology does? It absolutely addresses that. Um, you know, it's one of the biggest inhibitors of user adoption is that the data is not giving people the answers that they need. So while the application might be great, the data inside it is garbage yeah. and so people start to distrust the system as a whole and so by engaging with a product or a plugin like Trillium Software, it's looking at all of the complexities that occur within data. We focus on um, specific entities, leads, contacts, and accounts, mm -hmm. and really looking within those elements to say, is this the right data in the right field? Does this value make sense? How does this align with standards that have been defined? We really look a lot at uh, name components, and that all is a big part of identifying duplicates using concepts that you might think of as fuzzy matching, yeah. uh, fuzzy logic. So complex algorithms running behind the scenes to realize that this is the same representation of a person yeah. using various different bits and pieces looking at transitive logic saying well this one has the phone number this has the email this has both those are really all related records yeah. and, and pulling that together it's doing that across high volumes of records it's also doing that in real time at the point of entry and capture excellent so Naturally, this product could um, work across many different industry types. Are you seeing any particular industry using it more than others? We see faster adoption in financial services, banking obviously being a part of that, insurance. Um, I think those organizations typically have a bigger appreciation or a faster appreciation of the value of data and also, on the opposite side of the fence, the cost of bad data. Yeah. And they have to get it right and there's bigger um, implications if they don't. We also see a lot of adoption in high tech. Yeah. Um, they oftentimes don't have as much data about a customer, so the parts that they do have increase in value because they have to be right, otherwise you can't really connect with your customer. We're also seeing a lot of interest as Microsoft is broadening its perspective and looking at that omni-channel concept yeah. because now you've got not only data, hopefully good if you're using a product like Trillium, mm. um, or bad data if it's just left to its own devices, but now that's coming across more channels. Yet the expectations that you're connecting and identifying that this is the same person and know everything about that person across all those channels yeah. is so much more difficult and so much more complex. Excellent. So yeah. any final words you'd like to add? Um, I think just uh, one question we get a lot of is whether we run on-premise or in the cloud. We offer a number of different options. We run on-premise, we run in the cloud, and we also offer a hybrid option where you may have either on-premise or a cloud Im implementation and you might want the data quality functions to be either running on-premise or in the cloud. And we Brilliant. complete that matrix. Excellent. Thanks All very right. much. Thank you very much.